It is a shocking statistic. A News Channel 5 investigation uncovers 400 suspected rapists are roaming our streets after DNA linked them to sexual assaults. And as a result, the Cuyahoga County Council may ante up more resources for its rape kit task force, and victims' families are thrilled. Had it not been for the task force, we may not have ever been able to find her. News Channel 5's Kristen Vogt joins us now live. And Kristen, this effort is certainly paying off. It certainly is, Chris. Christina Adkins and Gloria Pointer were raped and murdered by two separate men, men who were already convicted sex offenders. Now, thanks to DNA and a group of committed investigators, the Pointer and Adkins families are finally getting closure. I never gave up that one day. <clears throat> Her case would be solved. It took 29 years for Yvonne Pointer to find out who took her daughter's life, who raped and murdered her as she walked to school on Cleveland's east side. Without DNA testing, there would not be an answer. But this year, Yvonne got that crucial answer. Hernandez Warren, a neighbor, was Gloria Pointer's murderer. A DNA hit matched the man to the crime. It's very frightening to know that you're living amongst people who can do you bodily harm. Thousands of other women in Northeast Ohio have also lived in fear. They were raped, and their rapist was never caught. That's until recently when the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office started investigating old rape cases through DNA. The DNA Rape Kit Task Force is part of a statewide initiative. We've been able to give so much peace and so much closure. Thanks to the task force, Tanya Adkins feels like she can finally move on with her life. One year ago this week, the body of her sister, Christina Adkins, was found on Cleveland's near west side. This man, Elias Acevedo, led police to her whereabouts. Acevedo raped and killed Christina 18 years ago. He admitted to murdering her after police arrested him on another rape case, which he was tied to through DNA. The task force is trying to do as much as they can, as fast as they can, but things aren't going to happen overnight. The task force currently has 12 investigators, but the prosecutor's office would like to ramp up that number to a total of 20 investigators if they can get money from county council. And Chris, council expects to vote on that measure next month. On your side in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5. All right, Kristen, thanks. Well, the task force says it indicts at least seven people every two weeks on rape charges. Those rape charges come from DNA hits on old rape kits that are being tested.